In this video, we'll be talking about fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolones are DNA guidase inhibitor and they're antibiotics used against broad, spec uh, broad spectrum of bacteria, be it gram negative or gram positive. So these fluoroquinolones can inhibit DNA guidase enzyme or topoisomerase 4 enzyme. This is how they work. And when these enzymes are inhibited, that lead to abrogation of DNA replication process and this leads to accumulation of double strand breaks in the DNA that lead to a bacterial death. Now if the bacteria cannot replicate its DNA, it has double stranded break, so obviously the bacteria will die. Once it cannot amplify itself, it is harmless. So in order to understand how fluoroquinolone work, we have to understand the mechanism of DNA guidase in action. So this is how a DNA guidase enzyme would look like. It has two major subunits, guide B and guide A. So here, uh, I mean, it's important to understand that it belongs to topoisomerase 2 family. That means it can introduce double-stranded DNA break. And also it introduced negative supercoils which relieve the torsional strain during replication. That is why it is important for processes like replication or gene expression, I mean transcription. So for bacterial metabolism and growth, this enzyme is really essential. So guide B portion of guide B portion of that DNA gyrase holds one section of the double-stranded DNA and then chops off another strand. In this case, the black strand is chopped off. So the double-stranded DNA break is introduced. This part is important. Later on, the other strand, that means the red strand, would be passed through this uh, double-stranded DNA breakage and later on, the, double, the black strand would be eventually re-ligated. After re-ligation, the enzyme disengage. And ultimately, we end up getting one negative supercoil which is added to the DNA right now. Now the thing is, in case of uh, the fluoroquinolone antibiotics, the fluoroquinolone bind to the guide A subunit and it prevents the repairing of the double-stranded DNA break. That means it allows the enzyme to engage with the DNA, create the double-stranded DNA break, but when this particular antibiotic is present, the double-stranded DNA break cannot be repaired. This is how it inhibits that enzyme. So obviously, double-stranded DNA breaks accumulate in the DNA and that inhibits processes like replication, transcription, which are very essential for bacterial growth and multiplication. So obviously, bacteria dies. That explains how fluoroquinolone can act. Now, be it gram-negative, be it gram-positive. Every bacteria need to amplify, increase their number. And that cannot happen when we give fluoroquinolone antibiotic. So that is why it's an antibiotic of choice for many infections like respiratory tract infection, urinary tract or GI tract infection. Here are some prescribed format of fluoroquinolones. Ciprofloxacin is widely used for urinary tract infection, skin infection and GI infection. Olfloxacin is mainly used for urinary tract and GI infection. There are others like levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, etc. Now, generally there are not too much of side effect, but adverse side effect can be with any medicine. So it has to be taken with the consultation of a doctor. There could be drug interactions. So one has to think uh, clearly about uh, when to consume the drug. And lastly, these days there is a worrisome thing, which is the resistance against fluoroquinolone. And that could lead to a big problem in near future. So I hope this was informative enough. See you in next video.